What's up guys, hope having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a full individual midfielder session. As you guys know, when the summer is here, there's a lot of camps going on or the field is usually taken. So the second best option is to find either a grass field, a baseball field, or you know even a tennis court. So having pug goals is super useful because they act as a goal number one, but they can act as like a target for working on passing which is extremely important for midfielders to be able to distribute and to have good accuracy. So eJet Sport, they sent me two pug goals and these are great to have on grass surface because they provide you with metal spikes that you can put in the ground to ensure that the goal doesn't move. You can't sadly put these in a turf field, so keep that in mind. But on the grass, these goals stay nice and secure, especially with some harder shots. These are great for young players to work on their shooting, to work on their accuracy. But yeah, let's get started. So the first thing that I did was starting off with a dynamic warm up, and then after that, I went into the first drill, working on playing some driven balls using both right and left. And then I also worked on a curling pass technique, and I did that for about five minutes. The next drill that I worked on, which took up most of the time, was just a basic juggling, kicking it up, checking your shoulders, controlling the ball, and then passing it into one of the targets. So, you know, when I first started warming up, I started a little bit closer. And then once I got, you know, really a lot more comfortable, I moved a lot further away and then I started really challenging myself in terms of the distance. So the goal is to essentially be able to get the ball down and then play the ball as quickly as possible. Obviously, of course, there I took a, an explosive touch into space. So it's not a bad thing, but the goal is to be able to take that touch down and played it immediately after. So this is a great drill to do, especially as a midfielder, building that good habit of checking your shoulders, having a good first touch, and then of course, you know, having a good accuracy with your pass. You have to be able to play really well with both feet. And if you can do that consistently, you're probably a good player. Once you get that, it's just all about, you know, maintain that same confidence and applying it into your practices in games but if you can do this in your training your individual training by yourself then you could probably definitely do it just you just gotta have that confidence the next drill what we're working on is taking the touch across the box or the field and then finding either a through ball pass or even a shot on goal this is a super beneficial drill and as you can see right there I added a different you know variation cutting it back then taking it back across and then finding that open space and yeah, super beneficial, super simple drill that you can do by yourself. And if you do these drills at game speed, it is extremely tiring. And these are all drills that correlate so much to the game. They're, it translates over because these are movements that you see players do all the time. And it's super basic and simple, nothing complicated. And if you can do it consistently, like I said, then you're just going to find so many benefits. But like I said right here, here's some clips of to see how secure the goal is. It's very secure once you have those metal spikes in there. But the moment you take it out, it's going to fall apart. So make sure you have those in. Easy to set up, easy to put away, and then boom. And then I have one more drill to show you guys right here. I'm going to show you guys again how quickly it is to set up. And this is at a turf field, keep in mind. So I kind of put this on the edge of where the grass kind of meets with the turf field and it still works really good. I have Evan who's a really talented midfielder right here working on the exact same drill, adding a little bit more dribbling into this and then working on that passing actually going forward with the ball, attacking the CDM on the other team, boom, creating space and then finding that target. And he did an amazing job here. So. If you're a young player playing that midfield area here, this is a great drill that you can do by yourself, working on many aspects of you know the game right here. And it's just simple, you know, you don't have to overcomplicate it. I think a lot of kids want these fancy tools and stuff, but you really don't you don't really don't need <laughs> you really don't need that much fancy stuff. You know, cone, dribble, perform a couple moves and then find a target and try to be as consistent as possible. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll leave these goals linked down below if you guys are looking for okay. pug goals, especially if you're a young player or you're someone who trains a lot at a grass field. Or if you're just looking for, you know, pug goals. I think these are a great option. Make your trainings a little bit more enjoyable and to make it a little bit more advanced. So hopefully everyone has a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.